Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on animal taming. Um, this is a very very fun skill to get into and it is connected to multiple other skills um, as in like the animal husbandry that's definitely a big skill that this is linked to for obvious reasons but there are other less obvious skills that it's linked to but uh, by the end of this episode you will have a good understanding of why I hope I also hope that I can do credit to this skill because it is a very fun skill to do animal taming I've always liked it um, they, it used to be different that it wasn't so difficult a skill to do but in 2008 I can't remember what month it was they had an update where they made it um, a little more difficult let's say and uh, I will show you why okay though before we uh, start on that um, this is going to be an episode where again I'm faced with a wall of uh, text which is basically notes that I've made because this is one of them skills where there's lots and lots of little things to show you as we go along um, and again worm, the wonderful Wormpedia is going to be an asset to me and I will be switching to it frequently but before we get to that let's get to a competition now I know you're all saying well wait a minute you've got a challenge going on at the moment well for those of you that uh, do not wish to participate in that challenge or for those of you that have already made it to the deed I believe the latest person to have made it is dear old Terry from Canada uh, well done to you Terry you're in today's role of honour um, I should have gone through the comments more thoroughly but I can't remember if there was anyone else I don't believe I do not believe so apologies if anyone has made it and commented and I've missed your comment me and rainstorm have noticed that the comments um, is more than a little dodgy because a lot of the comments when you click to reply on them they simply aren't there in the page I don't know why um, in the past when we first started doing for the first few weeks of doing these this series a lot of the comments wouldn't allow us to re reply to various people so and and put that with the fact that the comments seem a bit buggy sometimes that they don't always appear you'll have to forgive me and rainstorm if we don't get to answering all of your comments we will try though okay sorry let's uh, start by okay yeah one thing I want to mention before I go on is I want to thank mythics for pointing out at, in the last episode that I'd uh, missed out um, about keeping your meat eaters off the deed so let me just quickly summarize and finish off that for the last episode okay when you get into um, building your animal pens you are going to have a deed. Trust me, you're going to have a deed. Um, I've not been able to show you deeding yet because we've not been able to get off this island yet. Rainstorm did make me laugh with her um, positiveness. With uh, and There's another word I could use, actually, which would probably much better describe it. <laughs> oh, I can't think of what it might be at the moment. I always get that when doing these videos. The brain just wants to jam up constantly. But anyway, I do her enthusiasm at believing we're going to be off this island soon. This here, what you see before us, is nothing compared to the task of building this land bridge to another island. Um, <laughs> I'll show you it at some point because it is hilarious. It's gonna, we're probably not going to end up with much island left here. We're going to be probably floating just above the water where we've had to use all the dirt, all the uh, dirt here for the uh, land bridge. But anyway, straying again. So yeah, thank you to Mythix. Right, let's explain. You're going to keep your meat eaters off the deed. Even the um, meat eaters which are non-aggressive. Because, let's now qualify this statement. Any aggr aggressive animals that you, um, you have in your animal pens that you tame, 
remember this is the taming episode any animals that you tame if they're aggressive your spirit templars on your deed because when i get to the deeding episode we're going to be creating deeds and we're going to have the maximum amount notice i don't say a number now for spirit templars i'm simply going to say we're going to have the maximum amount of spirit templars that we are allowed and uh, because you know they'll make our lives so much easier but anyway i'm drifting so you keep your meat eaters off the aggressive creatures the gut the spirit templars will attack and kill straight away that's all well and good if you just want them to do that because you just want the components from the dead corpses that's good but there'll be animals and creatures that perhaps you don't want to die or get killed like your friendly dog hey eh? man's best friend is he not is the cat the woman's best friend? I don't know, that's another subject, isn't it, altogether? Anyway, so you don't want your, do your poor little Fido getting killed by one of the spirit templars. You keep your meat eaters, you build your meat eating pen clear of the deed. Okay, remember that, you build it clear of the deed, because that then will allow you to do taming. And um, if it's a non-aggressive creature and it go turns aggressive because you, you're trying to tame it, your spirit templars would then kill it but if you're off deed of course all your animals are safe so there we are that concludes that thank you mythics for pointing that out out and helping me and helping everyone indeed thank you okay so let's now mention then what we what i wanted to mention first which is we're now going to have a competition i know there's a challenge going on but this is for those that have made it like i've already said so what I would like us all to do is we're going to fish. Now, who prompted this idea, actually? And she didn't realise it. But Rainstorm caught a 13 kilogram fish the other day. I mean, that's the biggest fish either of us have seen or caught. And then I caught an 11.85 kilogram catfish. So what I thought with that, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we can have a little competition and find out who can catch the biggest fish. Now there's a reason I'm pointing my view at this um, little land bridge that I built to the tar. Okay, there's a good reason for that. Remember in the past I've mentioned several clues about fishing and how you can get better fish. So I'll engage your brains with that and not say any more. But in this fishing contest, what you'll do, the biggest fish, fish that you can catch you will take an in-game screenshot by using either this button up here or the F11 key and then you will upload it to your YouTube channel if you don't have a YouTube YouTube channel just create one it uh, excuse me it's not that difficult so but if you struggle there's myself and others who will help you as you know just leave a comment underneath this uh, episode then once you've got your picture on your channel showing the fish that you've caught for us to see then simply make a comment telling us the fish type and the um, size of it so how much its weight is and even if it's not the biggest fish it doesn't matter just show us I'm trying to get you involved here I don't want you just sitting there idle that's not good for you and it's not good for me but anyway, fishing's a vastly underused skill. It's fantastic, really. So there we go. Upload it, show us, and then comment. And then I will link back in your comment with a link to that picture. And there we are. And on Christmas Day, I will announce the winner. So we've got a long time to go. It's no rush for this. None of my challenges or tests are ever in a rush because some of you work long shifts, long hours, and... Uh, you're you know you're you're all busy 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 bees all over the planet okay so one last little comment about that though before i wrap up on the fishing competition is going by tosh's pick i believe we are all doomed <laughs> i'll leave that there okay so let's get started then on taming sorry about the long intro i know i probably taking quite a bit of time up there but this is taming i don't want to rush this episode this episode is possibly part one um, of a two-part episode i'm not sure how long it will be um, but uh, 
I'm going to get all the information I want to across to you because I want you to enjoy taming as much as I do. And in order to achieve that, I need to make sure I've given you all the information that you need to be able to refer to in the future. So, notice down here that I'm now growing grains. Rye, because I can't find oat. Oat is my favourite grain. Don't ask me why. Maybe, I don't know. It's just oat is usually my favourite. But we haven't found any. So, I'm growing rye. And the other one, of course, is barley. Now... The drinkers out there will realise, but that's another episode, and it's a very good one, but I'll get to it eventually. Okay, so it all starts at the forge. Why does it start at the forge if we're doing animal taming, I can hear you say. Well, let me enlighten you, my dear viewer. Okay, so for this taming episode, we now need a new tool. We are going to need a butchering knife. Okay, let's explain to you why we're going to need a butchering knife. So, I was fishing the other day, okay, and like I said about me and Rainstorm catching these really big fish, here's mine, so you know I'm not fibbing, it's just here. Too big to fit in a cauldron, too big to fit in a frying pan, too big to fit in a, ba um, a barrel full of uh, water and fish as you can see there it's too big there's the remains of Rainstorm's fish she uh, filleted it we're gonna fillet, fillet this catfish in order to fillet it we're gonna use a no not a stone whatever you're thinking we're gonna use a butchering knife in order to get a butchering knife we need to make it so let's do that Okay, now, you know in the course of this series, I always like to, as we introduce new tools, to make them at least once, so I know you know how to do it. So that's what we're going to do first of all. We're going to make ourselves a butchering knife. You will always use the butchering knife for whenever you fillet fish or meat. Okay, all will become clear as we progress with this series about why you're filleting the different types but you want to get the skill gain on your uh, butchering knife because remember under miscellaneous is all the different items and oh is it no wait a minute no sorry not miscellaneous under knives is the butchering knife see I'm getting my carving knife, knife up easily with carpentry but I want to get my butchering knife up the better my butchering knife skill the more um, goods I will get from animals as I butcher them and the better quality level chance so we need to do that okay let's close that for now oh yeah oops actually on that subject in the last episode I mentioned the asterisk I didn't tell you actually what it was called it's an affinity it means I have an affinity for knives meaning I will better use them so there we are just to clear that up sorry I didn't think of what its name was in the last episode like I say, brain gets jammed whilst doing this. Lots of information rolling around. Okay, so there we go. Let's close that. Right, now, to, so to do this, we need iron and we need a small anvil. If I open this up and show you. Okay, so before we can make our butchering knife, we need to first make a butchering knife blade. Okay, so what we'll do, because I've got the two components in my inventory, as you can see I'm gonna add this to the crafting window there we are there's the components now let's just select what we want which is a um, butchering knife blade there it is and create now again this is a brutal skill because it's blade smithing so we expect lots of failures but we're always feeling lucky there you go okay we can throw the iron back in the forge and we can put the small anvil back. Now we need to get to the butchering knife, which of course is a handle and a blade. We've just made the blade. I've shown you making handles. So we have the components. Let's now add it to the crafting window. And there we go. Again, a brutal skill. We may fail a lot, but let's try, because we are feeling lucky. 
And we'll keep trying. And we'll keep trying. Oh wow, real test of endurance. Let's just put that to free and sit back for a while. This is worm, it will teach you respect. <laughs> right, okay, so there we go, we can close that, we can close that, we can... I don't want to minimise this yet, actually, because there's bits and pieces I want to go over with that. Okay, so we have our butchering knife, and we're going to butcher our catfish. One, because it won't fit in a container with water to extend its life, to stop it rotting quickly. So that's one reason why we're butchering it. Another reason why we're butchering it is because if we cut it into many fillets, we can spread it across the animal's pens, or we can use it for taming. So we don't just get one attempt at taming, because if I activated this catfish and tried to tame an animal with it, it's gonna eat the whole catfish. And it's important to mention that when you use food in animal training to tame an animal the animal does not get fed with the food that you use for taming okay you have to feed it or drop the food on the ground for it to to get fed when you're taming the food does not go towards its hunger levels it's simply used for taming I hope that's now perfectly clear to you okay let's um, Let's hop on the cart and get to the on to the wagon to the uh, pens. Let's close that. And let's check my notes because I'm sure I probably jumped over about four lines of what I wanted to try and explain. Oh no, I'm doing okay. I've not skipped anything, which is good. Um, sorry, I'm just I am reading through a few more of my notes. Okay, for some reason I've missed this out. What I wanted to do. Um, first of all, before we go any further with the uh, taming. I'm going to switch to Wormpedia and read you a quick description for the taming skill. Um, I do like Wormpedia. It does explain everything perfectly and is a fantastic asset, as you're all fully aware. So let's quickly switch over to it and read to you the description. Okay. Taming is a skill used to make an animal a pet. You can only have one pet at a time. So if you have a pet and tame another animal, your first pet will become untamed. Pets that become untamed will return to their normal hostile or non-hostile stance. If the animal is normally hostile, then it will begin attacking guards and players. Food eating while taming does go towards their hunger level. Ah, well, <laughs> that is just so perfect, really. That is so perfect. Not three minutes ago did I say the complete opposite to you. You now fully understand why I read from Wormpedia. Food eaten while taming does go towards their hunger levels. Well, I actually have always thought that it did not. <laughs> so there we are. It shows you how wrong I can be. But then you know that already. So there we are. The food that you use for taming does indeed actually uh, go towards their hunger levels. No, I didn't know that. I always thought it didn't. Okay, so let's get back then to trying to recover from digging myself into a very deep hole which most people would just nobly give up at that point and end themselves like a horse with a broken leg but I shall continue on in agony okay so next okay yes the next thing most important thing to explain to you is by far and I am correct in this, 
by far the best animal to start learning animal taming is your good old dog okay by far that is cl the clear winner for if you want to train your animal taming whilst it's under um, 30 skill or is it 20 20 skill perhaps I will be checking that in a bit so don't worry but whilst you're under 20 skill dogs are your best reason best pet best animal for animal taming the next one would be the pig the pig would be the next easiest animal to train animal taming and thank you to rainstorm for two things for two reasons one for bringing us two pigs because we didn't have pigs and I wouldn't have been able to show you this or explain and two for reminding me that you can also use pumpkins for feeding meat eaters the pigs eat pumpkins and so do the dogs but let's now elaborate a little bit on why the dog is the best and not the pig why do you think the pig is called a pig because it is a very greedy creature so unless you want to spend a quarter of your worm life farming pumpkins because your pig is just going to eat them quicker than you can drop them and so thereby you're going to be spending all your time farming pumpkins and feeding the pigs it, you're much better off sticking with your trusty dog and uh, we actually I've got to thank Rainstorm again she managed to get a female dog so we have a female and we have a male which I collected earlier neither of them we will start breeding yet because if we take a look we can see he is very thin and notice it says a mature dog looks upset I will explain that in a minute and also notice that he is colored green notice that this dog oh wrong pen this dog is colored blue okay time to engage you why is that dog colored green and this dog colored blue I shall give you a few seconds to answer that the reason is that dog I have tamed earlier and when you tame an animal it turns green in color to denote that it is your pet and I read the description on Wormpedia and it said you may only have one pet so when I go round here to this dog you see he's blue once I tame him which I'm going to do in a moment you'll notice that he turns green okay I'm just going to check my notes because I want to make sure I'm not jumping ahead of myself apologies for having to keep giving you these gaps but I'll make mistakes otherwise and I do mistakes anyway, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I've done that. That's good. Okay, yeah, so I mentioned a moment ago about the mature dog looks upset. Well, with animals and... Um, with animals, when you tame them, your skill will be low okay let's go to the skills it's under nature you'll see animal taming we're just starting out with animal taming our skill is low when we tame animals like I tamed that dog only a couple of hours ago it's already at the upset stage when you first tame an animal it will become um, it will have a different status which I'm going to get to in a moment don't worry I know I'm stumbling and fumbling but I will get to it in a moment because some time has elapsed and because my taming skill is not very high that pet has lost status with me so it's now upset and that means it's going to stop being my pet soon basically what I'm saying trying to explain to you is when you're taming with low levels until you can get your taming level up to a decent uh, level, decent number, the animals you will have to 
tame them many times in order to get a good loyalty with them. Now, to give you an example of why another reason why loyalty is important with your pets is not only will they stop being your pet, but I used to like having bears pull my large cart when I was playing in the early days. I used to enjoy having a couple of big bears pulling it. You know, it's because it's fun, isn't it? Seeing someone go by with all different types of animals, whether they're unicorns or bears. Um, with bears, though, if they lose a certain loyalty level, and for goodness sake, don't expect me to remember what that loyalty level is. I mean, come on, I'm trying here. And I will read it from Wormpedia, or advise you to. And it'll tell you but with bears if they get to a certain loyalty level they will no longer pull your large cart you can no longer hitch them to your large cart as I found out one day and also eventually that bear will turn aggressive on you because its loyalty level will get too low right okay I think that was all I wanted to mention on that Okay, now I'm going to switch to Wormpedia and tell you about the different loyalty levels. Okay, so here we are. For those of you that like me drilling down deep into your brains, this is specially for you. This is the finer points of a fine game. And it gets as deep as you want it to get. And I do like sometimes getting a little deep with you. I try to keep it fun, but here we go. So... If you read on the Wormpedia website, it's got Taming Skill and Status of Animals, or Animal. Here are the different status levels. From 0 to 10, an animal is upset. From 10 to 20, an animal is nervous. From 20 to 30, an animal is submissive. Now, when you first tame an animal, on low skill levels, okay, it will be submissive. When you successfully tame it and it turns green, it will be submissive. From, from carrying on on worm, from 30 to 40, an animal will be calm status. From 40 to 50, an animal will be tame status. Now do not get confused by that statement that I've just told you. An animal will become submiss submissive and your pet from 20 to 30 when you tame it. This is just the names that it's giving in Wormpedia. So it's giving you higher levels of loyalty. From 50 to 60 the pet will be displayed as being loyal in the uh, description. From 60 to 70, the pet will be trusting in uh, loyalty. And from 70 to 99, and I do wish you luck with that, it will be extremely loyal. Wow, I wonder if any of you will make it to that. We will see. Time is the great teller, is it not? Okay, let's now switch back to my notes and see where I want to go from here because I tell you it could be anywhere. But thankfully, because I've got my notes, we are remaining soundly in worm. Right, okay, next thing to mention to you, let's start discussing the foods. Um, I have mentioned pumpkins. And I have mentioned in the past um, other foods, but let's now recap. And let's go back to this dog, actually. Let's stay with him. Okay, the different foods that you can tame with, as well as pumpkins. Again, I thank Rainstorm for that, because I had completely forgotten about that. You can use potatoes, but let's look at the difference in weight. You know... That's good for taming if you've got a high quality level, but that's the clear winner because of the amount of food. It will fill up the animals more. But there are much better foods and ways of feeding your pets and much better ways and foods for taming your pets. Oh, I mean, wow, this 
this this this does go off in different directions I have had to make notes because I want to attempt to tell you a little about each of them avenues I just spoke about okay okay I'll just quickly no I'll call it there okay it's a good reason for calling it there I will continue shortly don't worry won't be long I'm sorry for having waffled on so long but it's only because I want you to understand and appreciate the taming skill and love it and enjoy it as much as I do because it is extreme fun if you in the future want to build up a zoo of creatures a um, menagerie so wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe have a fantastic day. Goodbye.